Thank you, Madam Speaker. I appreciate the gentleman, uh, the ranking member, uh, yielding me. Let's be clear. No one, there's no denying where the virus originated. It was China. There's no denying the Chinese Communist Party has done everything in its power to cover up their role in the ongoing pandemic, intentionally misleading global community and force their friends in the World Health Organization to do their bidding. That being said, how is that Democrats are still refusing to acknowledge China's role in the uh, coronavirus pandemic? Just recently, a Chinese virologist acknowledged that the coronavirus was at least from a Chinese lab in Wuhan, and was just and were you just to pretend that didn't exist or is not even a possibility? It seems like that the route the Democrats would like us to take is to pretend that the communists in China absolutely played no role in the global pandemic and blame it all on the president. To be clear, Madam Speaker, all forms of racism, discrimination, are abhorrent, including anti-Asian sentiment. If that's what we were talking about today, that would be even better. But this is not what we're talking about today, and the underlying uh, tone, even from the chairman, is discussing how we deal with this in words. And I've stood on this floor very, several times over the past year and a half in denouncing all forms of hatred on both sides. But let's be honest, that's not what this bill is really about. This bill is exactly what this entire Congress has been about the entire time. Democrats ignoring the real issues plaguing Americans just for the opportunity to criticize President Trump. Despite their overwhelming failure to undermine the Trump administration through the Russian collusion hoax and the sham impeachment, the Democratic playbook has not changed at all. Now, a little over six weeks from the election. Now, Democrats are leaning on the global crisis to continue their admonitions, all at the expense of American families and business for relief. Democrats have taken no issue in ignoring the coronavirus' effect on the ground in favor of criticizing the president. And no criticism is more dynamic than their collective offense at President Trump calling the virus the China virus or the Wuhan virus. Democrats would love for the American people to forget the work that the administration has done to tackle the virus, including shutting down travel for China in the early days of the virus. It, in, instead of applauding the move, Democrats and Joe Biden accused the Trump administration and President Trump of fanning the flames of hate, fear, and xenophobia, when his actual actions kept others from getting and kept it from spreading because it was coming from China. For the last three years, Democrats have repeatedly claimed that Russia must be dealing, have something on Donald Trump. The real question is, is what, frankly, from a presidential election, what does the Chinese Communist Party may have on Joe Biden? Democrats would also love for the American people to forget that many viruses are named for where they originated. Take the Spanish flu, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, Ebola, and German meals. Maybe because the Democrats seem to be so bankrupt on this floor of bringing bills and real solutions forward, maybe the next two weeks we're up here, we're going to have one on the German measles and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Because that's all we're doing is wasting the people's time with this right here. If you want to work on the politics, go outside the Capitol, not here on the floor of this House. President Trump and Republicans have made it clear where the blame of this virus begins. It begins and ends with the Chinese Communist Party and their refusal to acknowledge the problem they had and let it go into all the world. Refusing to acknowledge that fact is wrong and failing to address it in the House in favor of political messaging bills like this is nothing more than political attempts to take down this president. And with that, I yield back.